again. We live. Talk to me nice. Black owned business. About to cop me another fedora. You know we don't play games. Keep the James. You see what I'm doing? Let's take a look over here. We don't play. Yes, how much? It's gonna be uh, 547. Drop a little 600 on this joint, you know. Oh, you know, all I had here stay between 600 to a thousand dollars. You know, let me let me show you my, my brother right here. You know, he ain't playing games. He ain't playing either. Tell, tell you know, how many, how many, how many, how many you got though? How many I got? You tell me how many. How, you know, I got at least. I count. <laughs> I, I got about like 10, 15 of these things already. I don't only buy two, three at a time, or I just buy on occasion, just for that moment. You know what I'm saying? It's black owned. Yeah, watch this. Watch this. Keith and James, 479 North Rodale. Yeah, yeah, let me put this in there. Hey, look. Appreciate you all the time. Yeah, you already know. Pleasure to meet you, brother. Of course. Hey, hey, you know what we do? You know what we came here to do? Legend shit. Yeah, it's black owned. Come support. Come support. You know, if, if I could have found. If I could have found a black owned Rolls Royce. I did that. Uh, I just had to settle for buying a black on black rose. Uh, yeah, talk to them nice. <laughs> talk to me nice, you heard? <laughs> These, you know what I came here to do? You know what's going on. They play games. Come on, Look. man. Hey, peace, gang. I'm with you. Um, what's going on? You know, uh, gotta, gotta put up that brother the light bank. There's a car. whole lot of drip. A whole <laughs> lot of ism hey, over hey, here. You know, we sitting on 24s. Uh, you know, cool, 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 cool. I'll take these niggas around. No, we came here to do. Uh, Boom, look at this, you know? Mm. Rolls Royce Diaries, oh my gosh. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh my oh. gosh. Oh. Oh my oh. gosh. <laughs> my, 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 30s gave me, my 30s gave me some good news. Uh. Oh my gosh, I had, to, I had to go spend some shit. Oh, they I, can't I, see no more. They blind off the piggy I, ring. I had to go shopping. They, they, oh. they blind off the piggy hey, ring. Let me just show you what's right uh, now. Show, so show what's up. Hey, show hey, what's hey, up. Man, we ain't playing no games. Ain't no games. You know what the fuck I came here to do? <laughs> you, you, you see what we're doing here? You know. we saw, did they see the shades? Did they see the shades? Did they see what's going on here? <laughs> Hold on, I got some shit to show y'all. This, this is also my love. The red bottle. <laughs> yeah, you already know. I come in here, it's an automatic 10, 15 bucks. Oh, I get a viral. You already know. It's an automatic 10, 15 bands. Uh, anytime. 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 Talk to them nice. Here. Talk to me nice. Come on, double R stories. Hey, you, already you know, know what time it is. We Rolls Royce Diaries. Out. You know what I mean? Rolls Royce Diaries, you know that. But watch this. Say it ain't a rental. I'm going I'm to show y'all something. Watch this shit right here. Uh, let me show, let me show you guys something. Hold on, let me show you guys something. This is what I make my people. You feel me? Look at this, sixteen hundred dollars. I had took a while to post some of these receipts because I was dealing with that chaos. But now that I got the good news, we back to making that money. <clears throat> Join the classes. Sixteen hundred dollars made by this person. You always can see the name of the people that made it. Just go to my stories. Boom! Look at this. Look at this. Money made. Over a thousand dollars again. Look at that. Look at that. Thirteen hundred dollars made. Hold on. Let me try to get that as clear as possible. Boom. Just go to my story. You'll see. He said, honestly, it never fails to make money with you. See that? Go to my day trading course. Look at this. We make crypto money 24 7. 226 dollars made from trading crypto. Look at that. That's all through the week. Sunday to Sunday. There's no time off. We keep making money. Forex trading. Boom. Hold on. We ain't done. This person made $3,000. Forgot to post your receipt because I was busy dealing with the fuck shit. But now we back in business. So look, this person made three G's. This person made $37,000. She. This is she. I, I, got, I got women making 37 bands. She said this is the best $99 she ever spent in class. She made $37,000. I'll take you around the side. <laughs> well, I told you. It's my man right here. How you doing? Anytime, anytime. I'm doing great, bro. 
I was trying to see the new collection and shit. You know, I get the special treatment. How you doing? How you doing? Doing great. What's up, Terrence? Millie. Millie, nice to meet you. He nice made over 17 grand from the teachings. Look at this. Over 17. He said, I'm on tripping or in a matter of minutes. I just made that. Boom. This person made 19 grand. Take a look at that. See you in class Sunday. Get into the day trading course. Boom. He made over seven G's. Look at this. How many black organizations can you join that actually make you money? Think about that, people. Yeah, we ain't playing no games. We ain't here to play no games. We very serious about what we do. Yeah, I'll take it, man. I got you. Infiltrate, man. I I'm not only coming here with the red bottom regalia. But I'm on my Louis V today. Look at that. Hey, look how we lit. Just like that. Ooh, look at the new collection. See how they treat me? I don't, I don't wait online. I told I was telling my man Millie, right? I said, yo, watch how I get treated when I pull up. Hey, let me show you real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm having from their client. Shetty up right here. She's the store manager. If you need anything, I'll be right back. I ain't tripping. I'll wait for you, brother. Okay. All right. <coughs> Yeah, man, we about to we, we about to spend another 10, 20 grand. <laughs> hey, let me let me tell. Hey, you know what? Hey, can they see this the right way? Yeah, they can see they it. They see the anagram. They see it. Hey, you know what good news do for me? Second, I got some good news. I'm like, yo, boy, I'm spending about 50 bands today. You heard? At least at least 10, 15 in here, minimum. You know, when you got me this joint for like 600. You feel me? Uh, you know, we this is Rolls Royce Diaries. <laughs> Throws voice at But the, the difference between me and everybody else, I show my people how to make money. Go to brotherpolite.com. I'm doing all new classes coming into the next week. So I join in now because the price of the class is going to go up because it's been about five, six months for some of them classes. But nonetheless, this whole week, I ain't tripping. I ain't set tripping. I'm leaving the price as is for now. Join the class. I'm the only black organization you could join that's going to teach you how to make money. Everybody else that you join, they don't teach you how to make bread. Join, join one of these black organizations. They ain't gonna show you how to make no bread. You join them, you're gonna be spending more bread than you got. That's a fact. So, you know, which, which one should I buy today? <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? You know, I always gotta have a bag or mm. something. Mm. You, know, you always gotta have a bag. <clears throat> Shit. This, this might be I think this is a new collection right here too. You know Red Bond. We gotta have Red Bonds go with the red. My man Millie copping yeah, some yeah. shit too. You, feel you know me? what time it is? Come on, man. You know, he, you know he got red on top. Yeah. But when we done, he gonna have red on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me like. Nice. Hey, you I already got it? these. Look nah, at this. Fire. I, I got these. Right. I got these. I'm, I'm waiting to explore right. that. I ain't even wear them yet. I ain't even wear them yet. Yeah, don't worry. I buy what I like, so all of that, why you don't get black this, black this, black that? I do, I do, I just spent 600 on my hat. I don't see y'all spending 600 on a hat. I got that collection too. My wife got that bag, I got that. That was a $25,000 day. Oof, let me get away from here, before she be watching my live. <clears throat> I'm sure they got some shit that's dope downstairs too. Oh, that bag is hard. Hey, how you doing? Oh, what's up? Nah, no problem. I got you. This bag hard right here. That color is, that color is crazy. I just need to know. Oh, look at that tiny one, too. <laughs> it's shoes that go with them? I only like to buy the bags that they got a shoe that go with it. This is hard. Oh, I see. <laughs> Nah, I want that leather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta get oh, them. she got the black shit. That's hard too. Let me go downstairs and see what they got. <clears throat> what do you think about these, man? Yeah, this is fire. Ain't it? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta make sure you get when you step out. You step it out the right way. <laughs> Red carpet event. They ain't playing. I'm infiltrating with all this Louis on. Got the Louis on. I'm infiltrating.
Let's see what else they got up in here. No? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, they don't. Oh, I guess they, they keep the girl shit downstairs. Normally they used to have some guy stuff and some girl stuff down there. So I guess they're keeping the female shit down here now. All right. Hey, y'all, I'm about to go to work. I'm about to go to work. Oh, you know what? Let me go live real quick. <clears throat> I'm going to step out, finish this live, and come okay. right back in. Yeah, yeah. I ain't want to close out the live with the mask on. But yeah, we about to we about to go do some major damage. Me and my man Millie, we making bread. You know, you know what the fuck we came to do. I'm tired. I'm tired. Tired of my people not having. I'm sorry for the delay. You know the beast was coming at me. You feel what I'm saying? It was coming at me. But now I got a little crevice of space. You know the fight still goes on. But I mean, I, I just got good things going on. Good things going on. You know. Got good things going on. Motherfuckers want me to stop doing live streams because they don't want to see me happy. They don't want to see me succeed. They don't want me to persevere. <laughs> they don't want me to persevere. You feel me? <coughs> that motherfuckers make it like it's illegal to smile. What the fuck wrong with these people? What you heard? I'm out here. I'm out here. I'm out here. You feel me? Fuck that. Look at this, $400,000 goddamn car. And it don't stop. I'm too smart to be broke. Look at this goddamn bag. Forgot how much this shit costs, but this little bag is probably like 3000 or something. And this shit is all fucking Monopoly money. I ain't gonna lie to you. I just do this shit like this because they say it's hard to get money. So I make money sport. So for those of you that think I'm stunting, or oh, he's stunting the white man, this, that, and the third, nah, I'm just copping the shit that they said we can never cop. Without selling drugs, without compromising the integrity of our community and disseminating misogynistic lyrics and degrading our sisters and contributing to the fragile side of war of our brothers by propagating and promulgating messages of mass genocide. I just want to show you, I read and write for a living. That's how I get my bread. I read and write for a living. I'm proud of that. So when you see me so-called stunting, that's just me to show you like, look... <laughs> All this shit is toys, man. Like, I can't take this with me when I pass in this life. So when people say, yo, you can't take the money with you to heaven, more the reason for me to spend it now on earth. <laughs> I know I can't take it with me. So that's why I'm spending that shit now. But just because we conscious don't mean that we should be broke. I'm just showing you a day in the life of Beverly Hills. We're in Beverly Hills right now. Red Bottom Hat Store. <clears throat> Red Bottom Hat Store. Louis Vuitton, Red Bottom store, right next to each other. This is the only black business, <clears throat> black storefront, <clears throat> black high-end brand that is on Rodeo Drive, Beverly Hills. And where y'all at? I hear people always talking about, oh, buy black this, buy black that, black you this, black you that. But whenever I pull up, I don't see no line of black people copping this. I see white people buying it. I don't see the I don't see the brothers. I see my young man right here. He ain't playing. And he making that shit look hard. He rocking that shit with ups and everything. And that shit look fire. You know what time it is. Son, it look fire, you son. I mean? Yo, and this is another thing. Yo, I'm not buying it just because it's black. I'm buying it if, if that drip look good. So if your shit look trash, I'm not going to buy it just because it's black. You got to make sure that shit is hard. If it's hard, I'm copping it. If, if I don't like the style, I got the right to not buy something because I like the style. That's why, like, even when I sell my products, I don't say, oh, at least buy my courses is a black-owned business. I got so much confidence in the product, I just say buy the product. I don't tell you, oh, I don't put a black label on my product because my product is stand on its own. Any race anywhere around the world can still benefit from my product. My product is universal. I don't need to play the black card to sell my product. And I would advise my good brothers and sisters, make a strong product. Make a really good product, and you'll never have to tell people buy it because it's black. So I'm against that because I feel like we don't put the onus on ourselves to make a better product because we be selling people on the buy it because it's black. Now buy it because it's better than other people's product. Buy it because it's top of the line. Buy it because it's better than others. That's the vibe that I'm on. Black greatness, I'm with all of that. <clears throat> like I said, if I could have found me a black-owned Rolls Royce company, I would have copped it. But I couldn't. 
So at the least, the very least, I bought a black on black. I bought a black on black. I bought a matte black. You feel what I'm saying? <clears throat> Play games with me. Talk to me nice. Don't worry about this motherfucker. Rent it. And you seeing it all throughout the goddamn month. If I'm renting this shit, I'm spending over 40, 50 grand a month. The fuck wrong with you? I would give me more props for keeping up the rental energy than fucking <clears throat> owning it. <laughs> God damn. And then they, they say I got five, six cars on rental. So imagine a nigga walking around renting five, six, seven luxury cars. Like shit. That means the bag is bigger than the man who owns the one car. You feel what I'm saying? But you know, people talk all this shit about rental, but they don't own their house. That means their house is rented. If you're paying a mortgage, you know you're renting your house. Because the second you stop paying your fucking mortgage or your property taxes, they're going to take it from you. I don't never see nobody laughing at people. Oh, your house is rented. You got a mortgage, you renting your house. I ain't tripping. You got an apartment, you renting your apartment. What the fuck's wrong with black people that they always, yo, sh niggas be like, show me the car note. Bitch, get the fuck out of here, man. And you know what would be wild? If I take a picture in front of my V, oh, why you got to stunt in front of your people? But if a nigga take a picture in front of his Toyota, he's showing family time. Me, it, it can never be that. It got to be some agenda. Yo, I'm having fun today. I'm, I'm rocking out with my man. We got some meeting with some incredible Jews that pff, the bag, they spend in the bag because we have the resources and the knowledge that they want to invest in. They feeling it the way that I do it when it comes to trading. So they like, yo, I'm going to drop an M and you can keep 30% on everything you make. You think I'm not flipping that above a million dollars? Man, y'all crazy. Y'all crazy. That's exactly what I'm doing. You know what type of time we on. You know what the fuck we came here to do. Hey, pull over. What's up? <laughs> Rolls Royce driving. One of the homies. Elder. <laughs> That's the elder homie I told you got to meet. He got mad That's game. Him right That's him in the Rolls Royce. <laughs> That's him right there. <laughs> yo, never fails. Hey, I love seeing black people do this shit the right way. I feel like pulling, running down on them at the corner. He probably busy. <clears throat> but yeah, we got to link up with him. I'm going I'm to hit him up after I'm done with this. But yeah, he's a good brother, man. He got a lot of game. But yeah, like I said, you think I'm not going to flip that money? I'm getting 30% of everything that I'm responsible for flipping. You give me an M, you think I can't make an M2? Y'all saw what I... I made many of y'all millionaires. I made a lot of y'all millionaires. So why the f*** would I be able to do that with a bag like that? Come on. All they did was tell me I'm guaranteed over 600 bands plus in about a week or two. <laughs> That's all they told me. I'm guaranteed like 600 bands plus in about a week or two. <clears throat> Shit. And if you catch me on the right day with some day trading, woo! Because you know my day trading game. Crazy. Hey, all I'm saying is make the money yourself and show us what you would do with the money. Don't knock me with, in the way that I spend my bread. Don't knock me. Hey, what up? Look at my man. Hey, look at the <laughs> owner himself. This is the owner. Oh, wow. That's Keith. I mean, James. That's James. Yeah. Nigga James right there. I was just telling my young boy. What's up, man? <laughs> Peace of the God. Hey, I was putting my young man on game, so he caught one. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. This is the black it, man himself I speak so high of. Yeah. Only one on Rodale Drive. Look at this brother right Beverly here. Hills, Beverly man. Hills. Oh, look yeah. at him. <laughs> I'm always proud of this brother, man. I can't brag enough. I just copped this joint. Oh, you did? Yeah, I was trying to get something dark, dark, dark brown. Yeah. But I can't never step in here and not buy something. So even though I didn't see the dark brown, I was just like, fuck it. I see the brown strap and the brim. Yeah. It's kind of dark, and as it gets darker and darker, it'll be a vibe. Yeah, vibe, yeah, yeah, yeah so I fuck with it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, this shit was difficult as fuck to put together, <laughs> though. It was difficult. I had to do some Amazon shit. I had to go down the block over yeah. here. I had to move around. <laughs> yeah, that's the brother, man. Uh, Meeting everybody, son. Uh, <laughs> Meeting everybody. That's crazy. Yeah. He's a good brother to know, though, because he, he also got his own wine. His own wine as well. And perfume. Showing him perfume. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He got his own perfume, too. Does it all. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, he's a good brother to connect with. Yo, he came to Pan to play ball, too. Oh, what? Yeah, he came to Pan to play ball. We got to play ball again. Yeah, we got to. Oh, yeah. Y'all been open? Yeah. Monday, yeah. Wednesday, Friday. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So, Where at? Saturday. At the same spot? Same spot. What time? Same, uh, 9.30 a.m. to about 1 o'clock. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, we get it in. We get it yeah, in. Yeah, I might catch you on wind. Hey, you got to pop out. Yeah. I'm going to tell you I was back in town. I was traveling so much. This shit game? was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, 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 got, he, got, he got a shot. He got a shot. Yeah, you know. It's cool. It's cool. He got a shot. All of us semi-retired. Good luck. Good luck.
Don't don't, 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 Jay, Jay, Jay got a J. Don't let him lie to you. Hey, 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 that's, what, that's what I tell people too. Oh, right, so know, long as you got a jump shot, you ain't got to use your legs. Yeah, he got a J. He got a J. I was out there. And, and the thing is, he don't play every day. So you got to factor that in. So based on the way he was playing for a man that ain't playing every day, I'm like, you could tell he have game. That's how you, that's how you read it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, like, I can tell you got a game. It's been three years since I played, since we played. That's you know, crazy. Man. Yeah, like riding a bike out there after like the first game. Yeah. He started loosening up and shit. Yeah, that's a good vibe. Yeah, it's a good vibe. Getting in three days a week. Yeah. Man, it's such a dope vibe. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, but we gonna get it in. What y'all got planned today? Uh, what we got planned? We got a meeting later on. I gotta call them people. Uh, good, some real good Jewish. Uh family i call them they they always show support okay. they want me to work with them on the stocks and everything like that oh yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah you're yeah. about to invest into some shit you know old girl supposed to cook mad jewish food and shit oh for real <laughs> yeah she cook mad food she be cooking <clears throat> she be cooking she cooking yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. gotta eat you got everybody yeah, gotta yeah. eat yeah, yeah, she she gotta, ain't hungry. Yeah, yeah and she know i'm vegan so eat. oh yeah yeah she know i'm vegan so she putting together something nice but other than that we outside we um we were supposed to have that other meeting, but old girl was so wavy last night. Oh, she she, okay. she waking up late. Uh, just I was hanging out at Wally's. Oh, oh yes, you're spot there. Wow. That's it right there. I live it. He That's loves it. that shit now. That's it. Yo, he don't even go to none of the ratchet shit no more. No, I can't go. I can't go down. I can't down, girl. Uh-uh. I can't down, bro. He refused to go. Even the joints that you need, they're doing something you can always get incorporated in something that you might not know. Look at my man talking you know that mean? shit. To me forever. Like, yo, bro, get yeah. the fuck out the ratchet world. I got nah, you. Get out nah, the underworld. Wally, Come on. My life. Yeah, Wally. That's shit. all you need. That's all you need. I might yeah. go right there right now. Yeah. <laughs> If you, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you with it, I'm fucking with it. I'll pop out right now. If you with it, it's just a good vibe, son. I, ain't, I don't know no spot like that shit either. And they play good music too. They diversify that shit. The type of people that be in there. It's like you just, you know what I'm saying? Wally's is some shit, son. That's my shit. That was my shit too. Yeah, yeah, I be, I be there. I ain't on front when I, I found out them niggas be over to two a.m. I was like, oh, it's over. Oh, it's over. Right here, <laughs> give some good one. I, I left last night. Went over there real late, random, random. For real. Like at one, one o'clock. I went over there random, and it was lit, crazy. Went over there. Hey, I should have went over. Yeah, there. it was nice, man. I'm like, Tam is always a nice vibe. Nothing else fair. Yeah. Energy over there. Yeah, yeah, good like people, time, man. Every time. Every time. Hey, I'm going to talk to you guys later. How about you? But you know, we, we nice right now. We've been here for about a year now, though. How's it going? Yeah, yeah. He, he, fuck, he ain't never been in Miami. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> James fuck with Miami. He, I think he probably already got a spot now, right? <laughs> not yet. Not yet. You got to go to Miami. Yo, once I went there, I done got my spot. Yeah. You can't go there and not I mean, want to get a second I've been location. Every state, even Midwest, everything but Miami. Uh, you got yeah, Miami definitely good build, man. Yeah. But I'll see you guys for the trade in. Get it in. We turning it up. We running the numbers up. You know, um, I always tell you guys that those of you that, like, I never rush to go home to watch a program that I don't like. So those of you that's upset about anything, you remember, you don't have to follow me, you don't even have to get a notification. Let's be for real now. It's kind of weird. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of weird. So let's get it in. We got a vibe. This is only for the fam that's been walking with me past couple of years making this bread. But we we gonna get it in. We gonna we taking it to the top. I got all new classes launching for the Cash is King, Credit is Queen, Credit Restoration course. So we talking about <clears throat> learning how to access over 100 bands, lines of credit. Leveraging that for your newly found credit disposition, I show you step by step yourself. If you got 100 bands in your possession, do you think you have to look back? No, if you got the right knowledge. Then we also got the Forex Trading Cryptocurrency course coming. We also, which is there, but I got a new class coming for y'all next weekend. We also have the VP Contract Killers class and the Day Trading course. All new classes launching for next week, Saturday and Sunday. So lock in, do what you gotta do, start studying now. Those of you that's already in some of those courses, review them so you don't get lost in the sauce because it's going to be 2.0 energy.
Yeah, you know, I've, I've always learned that people with less money always tell people with more money what they should do with it. I've never been like that. My whole energy, and I'm just responding to a comment, if I see something that I deem necessary, I make sure that I acquire the resources to do so. I never tell another man or woman what they should do with their own money because I don't know what their vision is. And I don't know what type of desires they got to burn out. Because like I said, if you don't burn out your desires, your desires will burn you out. So when I was young, I remember watching uh, Puffy videos and they called somebody named Bentley. This is a true story. And I was like, yo, why, what's, what's Bentley? I never heard that name before. And they like, yo, that's a car. I said, yo, let me look at the car. So I looked at the car. I said, yo, I want to get one of those cars one day. So at that time, the car I was looking at was like a quarter million dollars, 300 grand. And it's like, man, you ain't never going to get that. So in my mind, just the fact I was told I couldn't, I always kept it in my mind. Like, I'm going to get that car. So my own people around me, you know, we hustling and everything. So I'm thinking, shit. So we, we put a ceiling on our hustle. Like, we're going to make some money, but we're never going to make this much. I, I can never do that. So just like when I was in school, I was supposed to draw. Um, <clears throat> the assignment was draw your own uh, dream house. So they gave us this construction paper and shit. So like two minutes later, I was like, yo, teacher, I need another paper. They're like, don't worry about it. They gave me another paper. So I, I drew one. So he's like, I said, yo, matter of fact, I need another construction paper. They said, don't stress yourself out, Mr. Note. Just do the best you can. I said, I know I ain't tripping. I just need another paper. So the fourth time around, I said, yo, I need another paper. They're like, yo, just erase. I don't got nothing to erase. I got four dream houses in mind. So they said, no, you only supposed to have one. So I said, why am I only supposed to have one dream house? What if, what if, what if I fall shy of my expectation? At least I have three left. You know what I'm saying? In, in the world that I'm envisioning myself to live in, I got four dream houses thus far. And this teacher argued me down, told on me, dry snitch told my grandmother and everything and i'm like yo everybody else was stuck there i already knew how my first three dream houses look my real shit was to draw the fourth one because i never really contemplated number four yeah. but i the limitation that people put on themselves is real crazy you know what i'm saying yeah so so it's the same vibe when i'm talking about i don't i don't have the limits that people prescribe so when i when i finally got the bentley <clears throat> cats to tell you the bentley that i copped i put suede all over it <laughs> What's up, Papa? I gave it to my baby girl. I put suede all over the bin because it don't rain like that out here. So picture, picture, picture a nigga driving down fucking Wilshire Boulevard and seeing the car filled with suede over it. The whole car got suede over it. Wouldn't know how to fill. So people like, yo, you being too materialistic. I'm like, yo, that was magic. That's not materialistic. That's materialization. I conceive that which people can even envision me with, and I made it manifest. I made it come to fruition. I took that shit out my brain and put it before the world to bear witness. So that's that's alchemy at its finest. That's metaphysics at its highest. You feel what I'm saying? To take something out your mind that they all doubt that you are able to bring forth, and I usher that shit into the universe. Into the yo, come on, son. So people, what you may see look like material, but for me, it's manifestation. And you either dealing with man infestation or manifestation. So if you're not being productive. It's man infestation. Right. But if you produce it, you manifest it. Right. You feel me? But, you know, these people don't be on it, man. You know, I, I ain't never been one to tell someone what they can or cannot do. Because if I, if I bear witness to the fact that, if I bear witness that you can't do something, I'm simultaneously telling myself it's a possibility I can't do it. So why the fuck wouldn't you be able to do something that you and I both have the potential to do? You feel what I'm saying? So if I tell you you can't do it, I, I just told myself I can't do it. So ain't no way I'm going to curse somebody with that kind of <clears throat> that kind of thought process. Because the acquisition of that type of thought will condemn me too. <laughs> you feel me? So of course you can do whatever the fuck you got in mind. Therefore, I know I can do what I got in mind. It's a double-edged sword. You feel me? Yeah, you feel me? So you know, people, <laughs> we, you know, people be focused on the wrong things. I just focus on manifestation. You know, and then everyone get mad at you when you start cracking the code, bro. Trust me. The more and more you keep cracking the code, you're going to see your own friends, family, closest ones to you switch up on you. Because you're you cracking the code and they start thinking it ain't fair. Because they're going to get a false sense of entitlement and feel like you're supposed to just bring them in. But while you was out here putting in the work in, running these streets, doing the study, studying after you come from a meeting. Yo, what the fuck is that we was talking about? And you take it to the next level. People gonna be thinking it's not fair that you're where you at. It's the weirdest feeling in the world. And it ain't for everybody. Some people just get depressed from their success because they never imagine so much people will wish them the worst. Motherfuckers love you the most when you ain't got shit. 
trust me. You know how much love I got when I was out there with just a t-shirt, standing on a goddamn crate, losing my voice, my family wondering where the fuck the money's coming, and I'm out here just talking this conscious talk, and I'm not making a correlation or a connection with how to make the money since I'm conscious. Man, motherfuckers loved me when I was on the verge of losing my family and I was living poor. But once I got that motherfucking bag and I was able to make applicable the very conscious information I was studying, niggas hated me. They hate me on a whole nother level. But you see, luckily for me, I got the type of mental fortitude. I, I, I just eat those. Motherfuckers put me all over the TV. You know, over 18 uh, states. Accusations on the TV, in the newspapers, videos galore. But the type of person I am, I'm like, yo, I'm fucking famous. <laughs> I'm like, yo, I didn't know it was this big. I didn't know it was this great. So, I don't see the cup as half empty. I see it as half full. You feel me? I said, damn, I put in so much work. I made the motherfucking news. Shit. I'm so dope that, yo, picture this. Picture being so dope that you're a nobody when you post things that you're interested in. And you think you're somebody when you post things that I'm in it. I'm like, I'm so dope. I'm making people that hate me money. And they won't even admit, yo, the only reason I'm acting like this is because I'm getting paid by YouTube. They won't admit that the only reason is because you know you're going to get 10, 20, 30,000 views you never had. Not because they're interested in you, but because they're interested in me. And I got the whole community going in a frenzy, posting shit, uh, jail lawyer advice and attorney advice, like, things going in. Yo, them charges ain't dropped. It's, this is what the science is. No, but they at, I'm here watching this shit. I'm like, yo, I'm a dope motherfucker, man. So, you know, it. but most people, you'll see celebs and you wonder why they be ODing. You be like, damn, they got all this bread, all this attention. But y'all, that shit's crazy. Like, what they did with Kanye, the nigga walking, he bump into a pole. Ha, 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 Like, they can't wait till that motherfucker fall. Fall, oh, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you don't know how popular you are until someone lies on you. Then you like, oh, shit. But you see the way I'm built? Like I said, I look, I'm, oh, shit, I'm the fucking man. I'm just different. Because you know why? That's one thing the conscious community did for me. <clears throat> they done lied and spread rumors so much I, I murdered my own children for Hollywood fame. I done had so much crazy, crazy shit said about shit. me right. that I'm so numb that all I could do is just smile at it like, yo, y'all niggas is crazy. Right. You know what I'm saying? Y'all <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Charges gone. Y'all crazy. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> y'all crazy. That ain't how my story end, nigga. My shit ain't ending like that. <laughs> I'm shopping right now. My story don't end like that. You crazy? But you know, I can see why so many people nerves be shot. Imagine Mike Tyson and his glory and when they started coming at him or Tupac or whoever. Yeah. Like, yo, a lot of people, those are our warriors, right? But picture the average man or woman that's not like a, a fighter or came from gangbanging or like, yo, they would make you lose your fucking mind. Yeah. You'll be thinking when you're walking down the block, everyone's just staring at you a negative way. <clears throat> they want to get you. It can fuck up your mind. And your own people is contributing to it. Yeah, yeah. This nigga Bill Cosby got released, right? Real shit. And, you know, they they gun you down when they hear the charges without seeing the facts. But the motherfucker got free because something went wrong. And no black people are really upset like, yo, damn, this nigga served time in prison for y'all to then turn around and say, damn, something wasn't right. Y'all didn't know something was right, that whole transition. I mean, you just want to throw that nigga in there. For, you know what I'm saying? No, it ain't like, yo, we say whatever he did is right or wrong. I'm just saying that he did illegitimate time. But we only give a fuck about anything negative. But we don't realize they set a precedence to see if black people woke or not. Because we accepting that type of shit, then it's going to slide with everybody else. We should just be pissed off. Like, nah, man, how y'all made that old ass brother go in there and there was some illegitimacy to the reason why he was locked up? Y'all couldn't tell somebody was lying? Y'all couldn't tell that the prosecution somebody did something wrong? Y'all couldn't tell? Y'all made him do that time? That could be any one of us under different circumstances. And it's going to fly because no one's upset. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? These niggas, they don't see the bigger picture. They be just testing the waters. It's just like yeah. religion. Let me see how stupid these niggas are. If they'll believe this narrative, then we know we still got them asleep. You feel me? If people start waking up, they're like, oh shit. That's why even though I be looking at them vaccine shits and everything, like, yo, let's see how many people go for it. Oh, let's tell them we put a chip in them. Let's, let's just keep pushing the envelope. And then soon enough, the ones that don't fuck with all the shit that they are uh, including or introducing, they're going to be like, those are conscious ones. Because pretty soon it's going to just be like that. Right. There's a community of us 
that just don't go for everything. There's another group of us like, yo, man, let's not ask no questions. Let's just do it. Uncle Sam care about us. Oh, the same one. You know, the CDC is the same fucking organization. They changed their name. They the same organization that led the Tuskegee experiments that was fucking over black people. They just changed their name to CDC. Center, Center for Disease Control. You feel me? They're the ones doing all the, the mandates for what we got to do and what we can't do. But if you go into their history originally, they're the ones that led to the Tuskegee experiments that fucked over black people, fucked with us and, and guinea pigging us and all that other shit. Like, come on. So then now when they say something in 2021, it's all good. Nigga, you just a club that got shot up and you changed your name. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. So it's horrible when you do the knowledge because everybody else don't give a fuck if you do the knowledge. You know, if you don't got a certificate or something on the wall, you don't know nothing to a lot of people. And we live in, a day, we live in an information era. So the information era we live in, you got, you got a huge advantage that our ancestors didn't have. Our ancestors, if you denied them of books, if you denied them of the library, it was a dub. Yo, we got Google at our disposal. We could download PDFs. We can, we can get the same documents that uh, lawyers have to review or doctors have to review. We have an advantage. And a motherfucker still, you can show them the facts. And they still be like, nah, you got to have a degree for, for me to bear witness to those facts. That's what we're dealing with. This shit is like one big supermarket that's been locked down. And we in here and we think, oh, the zombies is on the outside. And you find out one of your niggas lied and he got bit. And you start seeing them wigging out. Then you're like, shit, right. ain't nowhere safe. <laughs> ain't nowhere safe, man. <laughs> Word. It's getting to a point you can't even walk around and let niggas know you know something. So now you just got to be fucking quiet. You know what I'm saying? Before you become a damn target. Your own people, we want to take you down. Yeah. They be feeling uncomfortable because you changed the way you eat and you changed the way you drink and you changed the way you dress. Motherfuckers going around feeling offended by you because of your change. And you're not even judging nobody you amongst. Right. But niggas is feeling the way about you. Like, oh, you think you all that because you making bread. You think you all of that because, oh, they got a false sense of entitlement. Oh, you should be doing this for me since you're the one that made it. Man, get the fuck out of here. I aggressively say that shit. <laughs> get, the yeah, fuck, get the fuck out of here You know the fuck we had the, the work and the time and the energy we had to put in We had we had nights where we had to doubt ourselves If we was going in the right direction with our fucking dreams You know what I'm saying For a nigga to turn around and say Now turn over the, the abundance from your dreams over to me The lazy nigga Fuck out of here <laughs> I love y'all though Y'all slick But nigga been in Harlem and I'm from Brooklyn So I know when nigga try to hustle me <laughs> I know it I can hear it when you try it but yeah, this Rolls Royce Diaries, man. Love you guys. Thank you for listening to me. You know, Bill. Like I said, if they had a a black on Rolls Royce, we'd have did it. So I had to just settle for less and just get a black on black. That's the best we could do right now. <clears throat> but make sure you come out here, you pop out. Make sure you do that. And the, the thoughts and opinions do not necessarily represent Keith the James. <laughs> but you know. We out here. Come support support your brother, man. You always talking. Yo, you know what we done? Son, I be, I be wearing your joints and everything. And dummies be like, oh, why don't you wear black black owned clothes and da-da-da. They so fucking out of tune, they don't be realizing I do be wearing it. You got it, yeah. You got and it and I put my whole household on it. Right. You know, I'm getting, right. I get your wine. We drinking out your wine bottles. We Anything you got, yeah. I, I just buy it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That. Yeah, yeah. They don't know, but what am I supposed to do? Every time I buy something, I'm, yo, let me make it clear. I bought something black. It, that's corny. Right. Like, yo, you should be in the know to know what you said. Right. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? I shouldn't have to tell you and do a whole campaign and publicize. Yo, I just want you guys to know the T-shirt that I'm wearing. Nah, it ain't supposed to be like that. You should just be in the know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I went in there, someone was like, yo, how many hats do you have by now? <laughs> I, he was like, yo, it has to be over 15. Cause I literally come in here days and bought four at a time, yeah. three at a time. I came in here for the grand opening, bought two of my wives one, bought me another one. You feel what I'm saying? And then she bought something else that was in here, maybe perfume, for something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you feel me? Just in the spirit. But like I said, I don't believe in buying anything just because it's black. I believe in buying something because the quality of the quality. product. Right. That's the I don't. Difference. I don't buy it because yeah. it's black. The extra incentive to buy it is because you black. Yeah. But the priority is, do I like the brand? Do I love the product? You know, does it represent me? Is it in tune with my frequency? That's my priority. So if I wasn't feeling it, I wouldn't have bought it. I'd just give a donation and say, yo, let's keep you here. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Real shit. I'll I'll give a donation. But I'm like, yo, this nigga's style. His style is so dope. I fuck with it. 
You know, and, and this, he 24 years old. Oh, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Young brothers would never even think this is their swag. This is they swag. No, this is my <laughs> <laughs> I started rocking it right. Now everybody got to hear this. Yeah, it's real shit. I started rocking it right. Everybody's like, "Oh, Millie, why you got the hat on? Why you always got a hat? Cause I like it." That's, That's a fact. I, and, and, and now they trying to tell him how much days a week he can wear it. I like yo. He wore this hat. Nigga, I, wore, I bought the hat. Have we, <laughs> what are you talking about? Have, have, we, time, have we ever told a brother wearing a fit cap enough is enough? Word. We never do that. Word. He he wear it down to wrinkles in it. Listen, yeah. his brothers in the Hood that wear the same hat every day for years, Joe. For years, yeah. that, the blue, the blue turned to brown. Yeah. <laughs> but you want to put a, a oh. ceiling on my man? He only wore the damn hat but three times, and they already tell him, Yo, yeah, you gotta chill. Like, like how you said, though, the minute you started building is when you start seeing the haters, though. Real you shit. You start seeing the people that that dislike you. Your come up, trying to breathe like crabs in a barrel. You know. Real what shit. Saying? Real shit. Real so, shit. So like, you gotta just. Like Hey, thank you so much. For anybody coming up, just he, keep the positive yeah, mindset. can't even be happy. And let the let that, fly where they lay. They and, gonna stay right yeah, there. And, and, go and you know what's crazy? Why would you tell a black man to uh, cease from wearing another black man's product? I, you would think we want to market it more and wear it as much as we possibly can anywhere we go. Right. Now, we know style-wise, we ain't going to dirty our shit up. That ain't what we about to do. Right. We're going to keep it clean. Uh, but so long as our shit is clean, you should want us to wear it every damn day. So people, cause everywhere we go, people were like, "Yo, where you get that from?" When we at when we at um, Wally's, son, he'd tell you, "Hey, always coming up to us, yo, where you get that from?" Hey, yeah, and you know, it's funny, the white boys be on some bigger shit too, because they be trying to tell us the price of what they normally wear their hats for. Like, yeah, I be buying three hundred dollar hats and stuff. I really love that. I'm like, why are you telling me the price? Right. My shit costs more than yours still though. But why right. you, t- <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why you tell us the price? Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we be sending them over here every time we in Wally. Somebody always come to. They come, bro. They like, yeah. yo, yeah. where y'all get those? Those hats are beautiful. Yeah, Women and men. Yeah. <laughs> it's a vibe. It's so dope. I love it, man. I be so proud to just direct them. Yeah, I be happy. Four seventy nine, North Rodale. Get over there. Get over here. It just tells me things is changing. <laughs> Yo, it's definitely a vibe. Yeah. And, and I fuck with his wine. His wine is off the chain, too. Good wine. You got one of those wines in here? Uh, hey, we got to see you on Wally's one day with that yeah, wine, right? No. Hey, that'd be a vibe. Oh, that'd be different. Yo, we go to Wally's and his wine come Let's out. Let's just push the issue. I saw a dude push the issue. Yeah, so I'm going in there asking, like, yo, you oh, got that Keith yeah, and James? Yeah, that one, yeah, yeah, that like, yo, is. y'all got to have a selection oh, of that. They have, have, talk to all the like, talk about another <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they don't need to get that. <laughs> <laughs> they don't need to get that. <laughs> Word, I'm fucking with it. Yeah, we probably going to dip over there, too. So, what, you, you, you want to go Wally's next? I ain't been there early. Oh, Pasio, that's what they call it? Pasio? Do what we got to do. You know, get some know. lunch. I think they call it. I used to say pistachio and shit. <laughs> Cause I was looking at it too quick. The uh, spot on the corner, I think it's called Pasio. They got two of them, one oh, and two. The Italian spot. Yeah. yeah, they they make some good food. I like them because I can order spelt or kamut or quinoa uh, noodles instead of just getting any spaghetti. Yeah. So I can still keep my vegan energy. Yeah. yeah, very few restaurants uh, allow you to to pick uh, what kind of noodles you want and shit. Yeah, man, but definitely do it, man. Yeah, we got the, I got a uh, romantic or Roman antics polygyny book coming out, but it's an NFT. Y'all gonna love that. Y'all keep asking for that relationship book, but it's gonna be an NFT, so y'all gonna be able to make bread off it too. I'm only making X amount of copies, and then you guys will be able to sell the only copies that exist. Good vibes. <laughs> We're not playing around. We all over it. Yeah, I know the hats are dope, right? <laughs> Good look. <laughs> Good luck. Alright, y'all. Blessings in abundance. Every time I say I'm gonna just do a little 10, 15 minute vibe, it'd be love. <laughs> Blessings in abundance, guys. Great talking to you. You trip crazy. You know I trip so hard. Even the socks, you feel me? I gotta make it work. Just can't sit down and pants come up. We gotta keep we gotta keep the consistency. I can't get caught lacking out here. But it's all in fun, you know, it's all in fun. Blessings and abundance.